Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce this VTI technology SCA60C angle sensor to measure the angle for any purpose that you have in robotics. This is around 90 and then it can, if I go this way, we can go minus 90. This is your minus 90 and it can go here to minus 180 and then uh, rotate this so this is now zero you can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash arduino let's get started with this Angle sensing is one of the important aspects of uh, robotics and in many applications you constantly need to know the position of uh, angle of some, the, some arm or some element in your robotics and this is very inexpensive way to do that. This can display between 0 and 180 degrees and the resolution is 1 degree so you cannot have 0 point something degrees so with the resolution of 1 degree this will work and it is from VTI technology. Here if you search AliExpress you can get this SCS60C they call it a TELT sensor the chip is also sold and here you can see it on Amazon.com it is sold for $41, $36 at different prices so this is now for example sold for $10 where you can get it in 40 days and this is just a module without those adjustment pins at different prices you can get it on amazon.com even $766 but these we can get it in 60 days so don't expect it quick delivery $32 for example to here on eBay $14.25 plus shipping or also just the chip Now let me explain the module. The module is based on VTI Technologies uh, Angle Sensor. This is SCA60C1 with a sub-version of N100060 uh, and this is uh, when you put it this way we will have always at zero degrees so this will give you the angle and based on angle it outputs some voltage here where we can convert it to angle and read the angle so the angle will be uh, between 0 to 180 degrees and the output will be between uh, some 0.45 volts to 4.5 volts we'll be using Arduino to display the angle and here we have two LEDs that when it is absolute flat you can set this with these two variable resistor or potentiometer so these alarms are off here at the bottom we have L393 this is a, an op amp operational amplifier very precise uh, so this will turn these on at a specific value so you can detect if it is flat or not and the result of this will output as D1 D out 1 at this pin this pin will go low when it is detecting it and this side when this LED turns on it goes to D out 2. This VCC will be connected to 5 volts ground this pin will be connected to ground so for majority of the use is this VO this pin we are using this one to detect the angle. The length of this module is 34.2 millimeters by 21.1 millimeters by 8.4 millimeters and here's the data sheet for VTI technology SCA60C and uh, this one also has sub uh, number N1 40 operating supply is 5 volts and it consumes 2 milliampere G and if you put it flat it will be zero and if you put it this way the arrow is on the surface that will be minus g I'll provide you a data sheet if you, in case if you need it
If you need a wiring diagram for this, it is available as part of my Arduino course at Udemy, where you can get the link for that. The link for my course at Udemy is below the video in the description. And here is the explanation of wiring. We have here VCC, this is connected to 5 volts of Arduino. And then uh, we have the, from this side the second pin is ground, ground is connected there, so these two pins will supply power. And then here at the middle, Vout. Vout is the one that you will get you the angle, that's a blue. Blue is connected to analog zero. These two, D out one and D out two, this orange and this purple are connected to here, analog one, analog two, which I'm going to demonstrate it. And if you don't need it, you can remove this uh, D out two and D out one, because these are just for turning on and off some alarm if you need. Now this is the time to click on the subscribe button and leave the notification on so you get updates of my upcoming videos. Now let me explain the code. We are defining a constant integer pin. So you put the, uh, the pin that you're using and then this is a variable that is holding the angle. Do not change it. This is angle compensate. I will demonstrate it later. If you want to change it, the zero instead of zero, you call it 20 degrees or 90 degrees or 180 degrees. You can add this and the angle will be reflected accordingly. And these three lines are for D1. We are defining D1 pin analog one here and a state of D1 and also delay. This delay time is the time if uh, the alarm is detected or the device is destabilized and the alarm is on, you can keep it waiting for a certain time. If you want to add that time, add it here. And the same way we are defining the pin 2 in here. Then we put here the title, which will be displayed on the screen here. As you can see, alarm angle, alarm D1, alarm D2. This is the text. It's coming here. If you're using it for some robotic purpose, you can say, uh, towards arm or towards a machine or up or down whatever so it will be displayed and this angle if it is and some angle you put angle if it is position of something at certain way so you can change the text otherwise just leave it as is the full detail of this code is available as part of my Arduino course at Udemy the link for my Arduino course at Udemy is below the video in the description if you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. And here is a demonstration. As you can see, when I try to keep it flat, we can get zero degrees on the serial monitor here that you see and I can tilt it it can go and here around 90 degrees so this is around 90 and then it can if I go this way we can go minus 90 but we can adjust this and fix it for our purpose for example if this is zero and this is your minus, you can do so. Here on the compensate, we can put 90. And let me upload it. And now, this is now your zero. You can bring your zero here. And this is 90. And this will be 180 degrees. You can change it to minus 90. And here, this is your minus 90. And it can go here to minus 180. And this will be your zero degrees. So whichever way you want, you can adjust it. Or if you're installing it in some angle, you also you can do so. For example, if, if you have already 20 degrees inclination, so you can put 20 here.
and and held that 20 will be your zero and held that 20 would be you are almost zero it's hard for me to hold it and then based on that you can go to any angle that you want the two pins that we have here these are alarms and you can adjust your flat angle for example using these two potentiometer to keep it flat you just rotate it and and if you rotate it this will not uh, turn on at those value let's say zero and then uh, rotate this so this is now zero and now it shows an angle here so at zero we can keep keep it off and here if you want to get the values when, when the alarm runs as you can see two is zero because the light is zero and if i put it now as you can see the two is on two is now it shows one and if i go this way now the one is turned on and you can see on the screen you can take some action if the device is tilted from zero degrees so this is these two lights will show when it is deviating from zero degrees and you can detect it if you use these two analog one and analog two that are already in the code line to print it and here you can use d1 state and you can take action you can put your f statement and this will turn this will be true if it detects that d1 is on and this d2 state is the one that is detecting when d2 is on the led so you can take some action but uh, if you don't want to use these two because they're uh, this is for d2 this pen and this is for d1 and they are occupying analog one and analog two so if you don't need those alarm feature just disconnect these two pens and just use analog zero and you don't need to connect any wire to d1 here or to d2 so this way you can use only one analog if the analog pins are needed for other purpose if you want to learn arduino i have a bestseller course on udemy where you can learn arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects all course material library codes wiring diagram everything available in one place the link for my arduino course is below this video in the description Thank you for watching. This was Angle Sensor from VTI Technology. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. Hi, welcome. Hi, welcome to another doing a tutorial from Robojax. In Hi, we are going to learn how we can use this. Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm presenting this tutorial from Canada. Tutorial, we're going to see how we can use this angle sensor, SCA.